reaching for the stars, traveling so far, like a dragon fly. Just grab my hand from him saying. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new and we haven't met yet, my name is Jack Jack and I would love to invite you to hit that red subscribe button and the little bell so that way you are notified of future videos and you officially become part of the Little Flower family. In today's video, I am doing the very popular tag going around on YouTube, the I tried so-and-so's makeup tutorial, or I tried following along, or I copied so-and-so's makeup tutorial. You guys know what I mean. So everyone is like picking a different makeup YouTuber and trying to recreate their look. And I think this is such a fun idea. Low-key, I've been doing this like forever, like on a day-to-day -day basis when I want to try something new with my look, I'll always like follow along with other people's tutorials. I mean, isn't that the reason why we all started making tutorials to begin with and that's why people started watching tutorials to begin with? I watch tutorials and I actually recreate them. So this isn't like a new concept to me doing my makeup regularly. Does that make sense? Like I'm always watching tutorials to do my makeup. Even though I know how to do makeup, I like seeing how other people do makeup and it like it challenges me to step outside my comfort zone. But that's like the main point of this challenge is to step outside your comfort zone and try somebody else's makeup tutorial. Um, but again, like I said, it's something I feel like that's, don't, don't we all do that though? Anyways, in today's video, I'm going to try to recreate this look from Raw Beauty Christy. I love her videos. I watch them all the time and her reviews are really great. Her personality is just so awesome and funny. Like she cracks me up, especially in this video. Like she has so many bloopers at the end and I was like, I, I literally laugh out loud. Like I'm laughing so much because she's just so funny. But I saw this look and I thought it was beautiful and I wanted to try to recreate it. And I'm putting a twist on this challenge for myself. I'm not using the same products she's using in that video. I am using affordable versions of those products. In that video she used the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk eyeshadow palette and so for my look I'm going to use the Bad Habit Athena eyeshadow palette which is a dupe for the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. So I got this off of shophush.com. I think it was only like $10. So super super affordable. I will have a link down below if you guys want to pick this up as well as all the products I'm going to be using today but all of these are um, either drugstore or just like affordable prices so I'll leave everything linked below so this is me trying to recreate Raw Beauty Christie's makeup look but this is also me sharing an affordable makeup look that you guys can do without breaking the bank so if you want to see my attempt at this then just keep on watching dude this look is so pretty oh, I love it so pretty so this video I'm watching, she's actually doing a whole review with swatches and everything. So it's a pretty long video, so I'm just going to skip ahead until she actually starts the tutorial. I actually did watch this entire video. It's a 30 minute video, but like when you watch her videos, they're just like, they're entertaining and informative. So the time just kind of flies by and it doesn't really feel like you're sitting there watching a 30 minute video. But yeah, you should watch the bloopers. She's so funny. Like, I don't know why. I was just cracking up so much. Okay, anywho. So she started off by um, doing her eyebrows and priming her eyes off camera. So I'm going to quickly do that. I'll speed through this. But I'm just going to share with you guys what I'm going to be using for my brows. I'm using the Collab Shape and Shade Ultra Fine Brow Pencil in the shade Ash Brown. So that's what, what I'm going to use for my brows. And then for my eyes to prime them, I'm going to use my Collab Concealer. This is the No Flaws Liquid Concealer in the shade beige tan and then to set that I am using the NYX HD finishing powder in banana as you can see I like this powder a lot so I'm gonna do that real quickly and then we can get started with the eyeshadow look boom I'm done so one thing I did like about her tutorial is that she literally tried using as many colors as possible to create her look so that's what I'm excited about. I've swatched all of these and I'll leave the video where I hauled this and swatched. I'll leave that linked in the cards if you guys want to check it out. So that's why it's been touched with, but I haven't created a makeup look with this palette. So I'm very excited. And again, I love that she used almost all the shades. The dogs are barking. So I'm going to start off by going in with the shade Desert Sand. Okay. Desert Sand, which was the lightest shade in the palette. So for this palette, it would be the shade Purity. So I'm going to take that shade and blend it into my crease. 
so that did absolutely nothing. I have to use this color because I have to. I mean, come on. But I also want to use this color and I also want to use this color. Maybe let's do a gradient. Maybe I'll do this in the center of my lid and then this on the inner corner of my eye. Okay. I'm gonna go with the shade Eden right here. The next shade she used is a shade called Eden and that would be Velour here in the Athena palette. So this shade right here. And she applies it just on the outer half of the crease. I've never done that with a color, so here we go. I'm gonna take that on my Sigma E40 tapered blending brush. I'm gonna dip into that and I'm gonna go on the outer section of my eye. I'm not gonna bring this too far in because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go purple on the inner corner with that duochrome shade going into it. I have like very little lid right here, but like space between my brows, like I do have a lot of that. So the color that we're putting right here in the outer part of the crease, I'm kind of bringing that pretty far up here close to my eyebrow. I like her eyelid space way more than mine. Like her lid right here is just so much bigger. Like she's got more space to work with. Okay, next she takes the shade Amethyst, which is the purple shade, and in the Athena palette, it would be this shade right here called Justice. So um, let me just switch off the color. I'm gonna take this brush from Morphe, the M433. I'm just going to switch the color, clean off the brush. I love this little thing. I got it from Ulta. It's called the Beauty Smarts New Hue Shadow Switching Pan. That's eyelash glue, or no, that's not eyelash glue. That's um, an eye pigment from Milk Cosmetics that is stuck on the pan now. <laughs> We're gonna take Justice, this pretty purple color, and blend it on the inner half of the crease. I really don't have much eye space to work with. Oh my goodness. Still above my crease, because I'm like, I'm doing a sunset look, okay, fuck. Okay, already, I'm, <laughs> I don't like this. When in doubt, just blend it all out. Christy is a freaking wizard when it comes to blending two eyeshadows together. Like, ah! Like you can see the line right here of where these two colors are and I'm trying to blend those so you don't see that line. I don't know how Christy does it, I really don't. The colors she put in her crease like, it looks already so much more defined than mine. Mine is just very softly blurred onto my eyelids because my crease is not a very defined crease. So now I'm going to go in with the color Blazing, and I'm going to blend that a little bit further down on the outer portion of my eye. Blazing. Okay, and she's going to use that on the outer corner. I feel like I need a new blending brush. Let me see what I got here. I got this one. Yeah grab this guy. So blazing is like the orange shade. So in the Athena palette, that would be Lore, which is this shade right here. So I'm going to pick that up with my brush here. Ooh, this looks very pigmented. I barely tapped that in there. Okay. And we're going to blend this right here in the outer crease. Ooh, that's pretty. I like this color. That's pretty. Ooh, I like that, but I just, I need to blend it out a little bit better, but I like that. Again, not as defined as Christie's crease, but we're just going with it. We're going with it. What's next, Christy? Where those two meet, I think I want to take a little dab of saffron here just to sort of marry those two together. I'm going to take this same brush. She took the shade Saffron, which is like a reddish shade, and in the palette, I believe it would be Power right here. So I'm going to take that same brush that I just used for this color. I'm going to pick that up. Oh too much. Um, tap that off and we're going to blend this in between the purple and the orange right here to marry them together like Christy says. She's good at that. I don't know if I'm good at that but we're gonna try. That looks kind of cool. Okay let's see what she does next. I definitely want that purple on the inner corner to be a little bit more intense right now. It's just a super light wash. So I'm gonna dip into that pan even deeper and I'm really digging in and still there's really not that much kick up at all. I don't know. And this is with a natural hair brush, so take that further down right into the crease. Yeah, there we go. So she's deepening the colors in her crease, but I'm like looking at hers and looking at mine. Mine are pretty pigmented, like they're pretty bright. So I'm gonna leave it as is and I'll just wait till she moves on to the next step. 
She uses the shade Amber, which I would assume is this shade right here, Heroic, in this dupe palette. She takes that to deepen up the crease even more. Ay ay ay. Mine is already really deep already. At least I think it is. Like to me this looks really deep. Taking just a little, kind of blending that over on this outer crease. I'm gonna cut my crease with some concealer. I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Ah, it's time to cut the crease. I'm not very good at this. I'm gonna take this brush, this little tiny brush right here, and my concealer. But here is a little tip on how to cut the crease if you have little eyes like me and if they're slightly hooded like mine, this will be good for you. So I'm going to, let me pick up a little more. I'm gonna lay this concealer down on my lid just kind of messy like that. And then I'm gonna look up. And you can kind of see the little mark that it made. That's where I'm going to cut the crease. I don't get how people do like a cut crease on a day to day, like, that's hard. Okay, let's move on. I need to practice doing cut creases a little bit more. So now I'm gonna go in with the shade Twilight here, which is a gorgeous duochrome glittery Twilight. Color. Okay, I would assume Twilight would be this shade called Epic right here. These are supposed to be duochrome, and I can see the colors changing within the palette that she's using, the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. In this one, you know, not really. They're unique looking shimmers, but they're not the same type of duochrome shadows as the original Huda Beauty and this is like supposed to be the dupe for it so it's not totally the same but she applied this shade right here onto the inner half of the eye and I'm gonna use my finger to apply that Ooh, it is pretty though I'm not gonna lie yeah fingers definitely the best but it works with the brush for sure. So now that I've got that color down, I am certain I'm gonna need a either glitter adhesive or something with this. I'm gonna use the NYX Glitter Primer on my lids. I'm going to dip into the color Cosmo here. So the next shade she uses is Cosmo, which is the glitter shade in the palette, which is Darling in this Athena palette. So this is a pressed glitter or something like that. This. Ooh, yeah, I, I didn't even like rub my finger. I just tapped it. And it's a very like gritty glitter right there. We're gonna use glitter adhesive and I'm using the same one that Christy used, the NYX Glitter Primer Drugstore, so it's affordable. I really don't play with glitter that much, so I'm a little nervous. Does she use her brush or her finger to apply the glitter? Let's see. Now that I've got that on, I'm going to dip into the color Cosmo here. Okay, she uses her brush. So, wow. Oh, wow, this, this is intense. How do you blend the glitter and this other shade on the inner half of the eye? How do you blend those out? I feel like if there were any color in this palette to marry these two shades together, it would be this one. Okay, so whatever shade she's talking about, I believe it would be Gleam, this color right here. Um, when you move it, it really, like it has a little bit of a duochrome, but not as much as hers. You know what? I actually think I'm gonna use the NYX Vivid Brights liners for this. I think I wanna keep it all one, so I'm gonna use the purple on the inner corner, and then I'm gonna marry it into the orange, because fuck it, right? Okay. She's using some of the NYX Vivid Liners. I don't have any of the Vivid Liners. Wait, I wonder if I could use the eyeshadow. Do you think the eyeshadow would work? If I like load it up, like seriously hardcore load it up. Or what if I do liner with my concealer and then press it down? Ooh, let's do that. Okay, I'm gonna line my eyes with my concealer and then we will lay down the color on top so we can have that purple and orange eyeliner effect like her look. Okay, we're getting a, a thin line here with my concealer. Okay, we've got eyeliner with the concealer. Now I'm gonna go in with the purple shade Justice. I'm gonna load that up on my little angled brush here. 
and press this on the concealer. Okay, let me wipe off that color and move on to the orange. I'm gonna take Lore. Not as flawless as Christie's, but hey, it's getting the job done, I think. So it looks like she went ahead and finished up the eyeliner and then put on fake lashes and did the lower lash line. She didn't say exactly what she used, but just looking at her video, it looks like she used the purple that we used in the crease on the inner half of the lower lash line and then the orange shade on the outer half and then like rimmed her bottom um, lash line with black eyeliner and then her fake lashes, of course. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera and I will see you guys back when I am done. Ta-da! So here is the finished look. I went ahead and finished the rest of my face. Um, she didn't talk about what she used on her face, but I'll quickly share with you guys what I used on my face because, like I said, I kept it very um, affordable for you guys. So if you do want to recreate this look, um, you know, everything's super affordable. So um, for the lashes, I used Miss Adora lashes that I also got from ShopHush.com. They're only a dollar, so you really can't beat that when it comes to false lashes. And then the mascara I used was from Collab. This is the Wow Effects All-in-One Mascara. Out of all of the Collab mascaras, this one is my favorite. For the face, I started off by priming my skin with the Lala Fox Air Primer. You can find Lala Fox from Walmart.com. For foundation, I used the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Bronze Beige. And then the concealer is the same collab concealer that I used earlier on my eyes and to cut the crease. And then to set that, the same powder I've been using, which is the NYX HD Finishing Powder. For blush and bronzer, I used um, the Honolulu by W7 Bronzer from shophush.com. So this is like a little dupe of the Benefit Hula Bronzer. It's called Honolulu. And then for blush, I used a collab blush. I love this blush so much. It's called First Base. And I just love the like glowy sheen that it adds to your cheeks. It just gives you like this very healthy glow because some blushes can just make you look um, just like weigh your face down, make you look older, make you look tired. Like some blushes just aren't like... They just look heavy. This blush just looks very light and youthful on the skin. That's why I really like this one a lot. And the highlighter, I used the Rude Cosmetics Highlight Shimmer Trio. I actually used all three of them mixed together onto my cheekbones. And then I used this, um, what color is this? Naughty. I used this shade Naughty right here for my nose. Oops, I didn't mean to flip you guys off. For my nose um, and my cupid's bow, that's what I used. Oh, and the inner corner of my eye, I used right there. And then for Z Lips, I use the Collab Line and Define Lip Contouring Pencil in See Through. So I use that to line my lips. And then the color I use is from Milani, so drugstore. Um, this is the Amore Matte Lip Cream in the shade Stunning. So there you go. I feel like Christy in her video used a lighter, more nude color. This is more of like a brownish nude. But feel free to use whatever nude that you like best. So this is. The final look, I actually still really like it, even though I feel like I struggled a lot with the cut crease and the lid color, especially the color on the inner half. I feel like um, it really wasn't like sticking on my lid. It just, it wasn't coming through. Overall, I do like this palette. I think the matte shades in here are just incredible. They're amazing. This Darling um, Glitter Pigment, I think is so fancy and so pretty. You definitely need to use a glitter glue for that one. And then the shimmers though, I used both of these shimmers in today's look and to be completely honest, I'm not crazy about it. I'm 99.9% .9 sure everything I used here was cruelty free. If I'm wrong about anything, please educate me in the comments below, but I'm pretty sure everything is cruelty free in this makeup tutorial. So if you want affordable cruelty free products, then check out the links down below. Um, huge shout out to Raw Beauty Christy for just being a makeup wizard. She's so talented, so funny. I absolutely love her. I really hope I get to meet her one of these days, but I actually discovered her channel after like the NYX Face Awards. I don't remember. Was it this most recent one or the year before that? I can't remember exactly, but I know that I discovered her channel because of the NYX Face Awards. And I think she's just uber, uber talented. And um, if you haven't subscribed yet to her channel, definitely do. And I think that's about it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. And I hope you have a magical and blessed day. Bye! Reaching for the stars, traveling so far. Like a dragonfly, just grab my hair.